Standard Sand and Silica Company presents a better sand naturally. Home base for the sales engineers who represent the company afield is Standard Sands Modern Office Headquarters, conveniently located at the heart of its operations near Davenport, Florida. And conveniently located in relation to markets, too, in the central part of the state with dependable, low-cost transportation regularly available. Atlantic Coastline's main line, for example, is right at the warehouse door. So that's one way product is routed to customer promptly and economically. What product? Sand. Sand of inherently superior quality because of the natural excellence of the deposit. It's almost pure silica. 99% silicon dioxide count or better most of it. Hard grained, sharp grained, tough and abrasion resistant. Qualities important to most end uses. It's supplied in various grades, wet or dry, bulk or bagged, as the customer requires. The new warehouse assures instant availability of product, in quantity to meet any and all demands. Also of key importance in assuring continuous flow of product to customer are the two specially designed plants for processing the raw material, up to two train loads per day, as it's pumped to them from the dredges working the pits. At Standard, this is where quality control really begins, with the closely coordinated effort to maintain exactly the right mixture of bottom sand, bank sand, and water. Intake depth is important, and so is the position of the dredge in relation to the bank being worked. The bulldozer in the distance there is stripping the clay top surface, or overburden, exposing the sand layers below. Sand of excellent quality and remarkably free of impurities in its natural state. A better sand, naturally. High atop the plant towers, processing begins with this revolving screen that removes coarse waste. Making a routine check of operations is Bayless Carnes, general manager and a member of the founding family. The processing plants were built to his design specifications. As their name implies, the scalping and classifying tanks remove, or scalp, the water and classify the sand according to grade, coarse to fine. Then, by means of hydraulically actuated controls, the material is automatically transferred to a common collecting flume, where splitter gates make selective blending possible in routing it to the next station. Which is to say that it can be directed to either of two screw gears for further processing, washing, classifying, and dehydrating. Since processing equipment is very important to the excellence of the finished product, the plants were tailored expressly to the requirements of this deposit. As a result, the superior qualities of the material are retained and its potential fully realized in transforming it from the natural state into a marketable commodity. For some applications, notably in the construction field, making concrete, plaster, and masonry, the sand is ready for use without further processing. Before it is shipped, however, every carload must be sight and touch tested by a skilled and thoroughly experienced sand inspection expert. The human element again. He can tell just by the look of it and the feel of it what the grade is and classify it accordingly. If he has the slightest doubt though, or if there is a close tolerance requirement to meet, he sieve checks a sample in the lab. Once they pass inspection, wet sand shipments are soon rolling to market to Florida's many fast growing areas. But for a considerable portion of the mine output, it's a much shorter trip, about half a mile in hopper bottom cars to the drying plant, where, under the supervision of Gary Carnes, it receives further processing. 
It's conveyor transported from car to feed chute, there to be passed through one of two identical rotary dryers and subjected to temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. When the material emerges at the far end of the dryer, it's not only dry, but hot, 450 degrees hot, and ready for the next step, which takes place in the screening room. As four separate vibrators work it over, scalping the oversized waste materials and grading the usable remainder by passing it through progressively finer screens. End of the processing line is this station, where the finished product, graded and blended to specify size, is now packaged. The familiar 100-pound bags, which Standard has used for years, provide maximum customer convenience in storing and handling. Of course, the dry product, like the wet, is also available in bulk form, but either way it comes in various standard sizes to suit its various uses. It is generally true that the coarser dry sands are used for sandblasting and filtration work, the finer ones for glass making and foundry work. Customers who require special mixes or blends for unusual applications can be accommodated too. Through the good services of sales engineers R.B. Swain, left, and George Fountain there on the phone. These fellows really get around too and can be on the scene at a moment's notice via company plane. As part of their training, they worked their way through every one of Standard's key operations, including the lab, and so can work out customer requirements right along with lab chief Paul Laverne. The lab is also a sort of quality control headquarters where sample checks of the product are continuously being made. You remember we saw OB yielding here, checking carloads of sand before? Well, now he's lab checking his own judgment, determining by very accurate test whether or not he rightly evaluated a particular carload's grade. With rare exception, he proves out right. Also from the lab, from time to time, comes an important new product development. And that calls for a conference. Sales manager George Phelps speaking, Bayless Carnes listening. Better than I expected, and from this sample and the reports, looks like we got something. I think the market is ready for it, and I think we're ready to go. And that's Gary Carnes, seated left. Well, gentlemen, on the basis of these findings and the looks of this material, I'd say let's get started. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, I'll brief the salesman. We'll start tomorrow. Uh, brief the salesman, yes, George, but that's right. First, brief the missus. Standards president, Mrs. George Phelps, that is. Here at Standard Sand, we are endeavoring to give you a finished product, second to none. A product you will be proud to recommend to others. We trust this brief film helps you to know us better. Thanks for your attention.